welcome, welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel. Um, and today we are studying in Psalm, the book of Psalm, and we're on Psalm 103. We have been studying the book of Psalms for 103 days now because we're doing a Psalm per day, and today is Sunday, September the 11th, 2022. And this is a song by David. It's a song that, where he's praising the Lord, worshiping and honoring God for his mightiness, for his reverence, just reverencing him for being God Almighty and the creator that he is and the things that he does. And then commanding himself, because you know you can command yourself when he says, bless the Lord, O my soul. If you say that, you're, you're commanding your soul to bless the Lord. Okay? So you're commanding your being to be in alignment with heaven. Hallelujah. So this is a psalm that is uh, is doing that. And much more. And it's by David. And it starts off with, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy, holy, holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Yes, because he has a benefit package. That's very powerful. Who he forgives all thine iniquities and he heals all thy diseases. There's part of the benefit package right there. He's a forgiver. He's a healer. And who redeems thy life from destruction. He's a redeemer. Who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. He's a crown. He's a crown upon you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. Oh, he gives you good things to eat. Good words to eat. Good word of God. He gives, it, he gives you all good. He says, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. He said, the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He's a judger. He executes righteousness, justice for those that are, if you've ever been depressed, oppressed, suppressed by the enemy, using whomever, because that's who it is, you know, no matter who he uses, it's straight from the pits of hell, the satanic oppression of Lucifer, you know, to try to attack God's kingdom. So that's the foundation of where the oppression generates from. But he uses certain people. Of course, we know that from how he used Pharaoh to oppress the children of Israel when they were in Egypt. Okay. So, uh, but God is a deliverer from that. And uh, then it goes on. He goes on to say, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. And wow, was his ways powerful. You know, he divided the Red Sea. Hallelujah. How he broke up the camp of Pharaoh that was trying to bring uh, the uh, that was bring, trying to bring the children of Israel down and keep them in bondage and have uh, them working and not being paid and just oppressing them to no everlasting end. But the heavenly Father showed up and showed out. So he will make known his ways, his supernatural ability, his supernatural essence. He'll make it known unto you. He said, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. Oh, yes, his mercy will endure, he says, forever to those who come unto him, and to those who fear him. Hallelujah. Then he goes on to say that uh, he will not always chide, and neither will he keep his anger forever. So he will get angry, but he won't be angry with you forever. You know, if you do something wrong, if you repent, turn away from it, get rid of it. You know, know that it was wrong in God's eyes and you didn't want to misplease him by doing something that was not according to his will and way. What he would have you to be doing. So he will not always uh, be angry with you. So he has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Praise God. Hallelujah. He didn't do that. He said Christ was, was salvation to help us. He said, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. There's that fear him. And as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. 
For like a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knows our frame, and he remembers that we are dust. And as for man, his days are as a grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. And the key word into all of this is fear him, you know, because many don't have a fear and a reverence toward God. And whenever you don't, this doesn't apply to you because he says that, fear him to those that fear him. To such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments and to do them. For the Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. I want to say that again. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens. Okay. He prepared everything in the heavens. It started from the heavens in the beginning. Hallelujah. And his kingdom rules over all, he says, over all. So bless the Lord, angels, you angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, <clears throat> hearkening unto the voice of his word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. It's a pleasure to study the word of God, to speak the word of God. It is a, it's a pleasurable thing unto the Holy Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. He finds pleasure in it. Oh, how wonderful that is. And he says, Bless the Lord all his works in all places and of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh, 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 my son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the verses that we're going to talk about from... Uh, Psalm 103 because actually I was led over to the book that we're getting ready to go over to right now I was led to this book prior to even going into the pre-study that I do I normally do a pre-study over the song before I actually do Bible study on the video and I always ask Heavenly Father, lead me and guide me into his word and give me wisdom, knowledge, and revelation of it, of him too, as I am reading because it's all about, you know, him. And it's all about us learning about the Heavenly Father, his kingdom, his rulership, his government, his operation. It's all about us learning, you know, about him. So I always pray for that. And uh, he led me to Isaiah 40 in reference to... Well, first, before I even, like I said, went into the Bible study, into Psalm 103. And then, <clears throat> which brought me to the verse we're going to study, which is, Who satisfies my mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Okay? That's one verse we're going to, uh, going to study with. And then another one, <clears throat> excuse me. Is uh, verse 15 of the verse. Is it 15? Um, hold on, let me see here. Okay, I know it's five because he says, Who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? And let's see, there was another one I thought. Um, yeah, verse 15. And as for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. Okay? And then, let's see, there's another one. So those two verses I'll take from, and mainly verse 5, 
we're going to go over to Isaiah 40 because this psalm goes in reference to uh, Isaiah 40 and actually the whole chapter. Isaiah chapter, the whole chapter of uh, Isaiah chapter 40, but also with our main verse being verse 31 because, you know, we're talking about the renewing of the strength of the Lord. In that psalm, and we're talking about how uh, God, you know, the things that God does for us. But mainly, He says in this verse that we're we're going to, we're we're kind of like pulling out of it. He's talking about renewed, being renewed like the eagles, and He tells us that here in verse thirty-one in uh, Isaiah. He says, "They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength; they shall mount up." with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Okay, so there is a renewal of the Holy Spirit that comes with the empowerment of God. And if we go over to, uh, actually, the beginning of Isaiah 41, 40, and he says, Comfort, comfort ye, my people, says your God. Okay? And then it's talking about the comfort of the Lord. For the word, and then we go to verse 8, the word of God, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And I'm going to skip around like I usually do sometimes when there's a big chapter. And I just want to make the point that we're talking about the renewal and then trusting in the Lord because he says in verse 31, they that wait, and that's basically trusting. You're trusting and waiting on the Lord to do whatever. You're waiting on Him for salvation. You're waiting on Him for deliverance. You're waiting on Him for healing. Okay, so you will be satisfied. Okay, He said He will renew your strength in the mix of that. Because you can get tired of waiting to, you know, patiently for the Lord to move, but you're trusting and knowing that He's going to do something. Especially because He said it in His Word. So then verse 10 says, Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. And behold, his reward is with him, and his work is right before him. And he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Okay? Uh, let's see. So then this whole, like I said, Isaiah chapter 40 is a good chapter to go in uh, reference to Psalm 103 because it goes into speaking of God's power and ability in reference to those who have eyes. They have made up their gods because it talks about the made up God in verse 19. Oh, well, he goes into comparing himself in verse 18. First, he says, To whom then you, will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare unto him? Okay? So the workman melts a graven image, and the goldsmith spreads it over the gold and casts, you know, silver chains. So now they're talking about the image made out of silver and gold. Okay? Then, so then uh, he that is so impoverished that he hath not oblation chooses a tree that will not rot he seeks unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved so that's the one that's trying to make the idol the god out of wood okay so you know again this is a good chapter to go into and read if you want to reflect on god's goodness and his grace and how that he tells you he can he even convinces us and persuades us through the power of uh, certain people because this is isaiah giving up he's giving a persuasion basically uh, you know about God because he said to whom can we compare God or and then in verse 13 he says who has directed the spirit of the Lord or been his counsel and has taught him no one <laughs> okay not a one one okay so then it's and then he says it again over here in verse 25 to whom then will you liken me or shall I equal okay it says the holy one of God who am I equal to you know God says and then verse 28, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he faints not, he does not faint, neither is he weary. 
There is no surging of his understanding. Hallelujah. He gives power to the fainted and to them that have no might. He increases their strength. Hallelujah. So like I said, even if you get weak, waiting and weary, you know, and going through because of the beat down of the enemy trying to come in with a beat down from his tactics, the Lord, he will strengthen you right on back up. And praise God, praise Jesus Christ, hallelujah for that, because, you know, it's, uh, <clears throat> we definitely need him for that, because he is truly our strength and our shield. Hallelujah. Thank God for it. Okay, so that is going to bring us to the conclusion of our Bible study for Psalm 103. God bless you, and thank you for joining me on the Feet My Sheep Foundation Bible Study. I hope that you are blessed, edified, and uh, receive revelations from the Holy Heavenly Father in Christ Jesus' mighty name. As we continue to go forward and study the Word of God, so see you again, and peace unto you until we study again.